Alright, welcome back to another Roland TR8S tutorial video. I'll try to make this one as short and sweet as possible, but I want to cover a lot of ground. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to look how we can use the TR8S as a controller for the TR808 VST offered by the RolandCloud.com. It's in their library along with many other Roland instruments and the TR909, which is one we'll peek at too at the end. Anyway, I'll show you how to map this out and how they are kind of pre-mapped a bit at, to start with. Anyway, first off, you want to go to your utility menu on the TR8S. Hold shift and scroll to find MIDI in your category. Let go of shift and scroll until you come to TX edit data. Hit enter and make sure you turn it on. Hit enter to confirm and you can get out of there. Now for the Roland TR8S, you're going to need to do this as well. So you go to options, down to setup. Make sure your MIDI control input is the TR8S and I also do the output as well. Now, with those two done and nothing else, you can go right to performing on these pads to sample your sounds by making sure the TR8S is on instrument play. If it is, you can push these performance pads and it corresponds to your sounds. Like that. And also the start stop will work, but hitting the start stop on the TR8S will send this pattern to the 808 and through it using the 808's kit and however you have created your sounds or kit on that. If you push the start stop through here with the mouse, it will play its internal pattern with the internal kit. So remember, controller start stop will send its pattern through this. This start stop will send its pattern through this kit. So here's the internal pattern. That's that pattern. I'll send different pattern, the tier eight S pattern through this kit. Totally different and a lot more variety. Now, those are all pre-mapped for you to get started right away. Other things that you're going to want to map out to make it easier to play and perform with will be your levels and your tones and tunings and decays. All these knobs over here and also probably your volume and shuffle are uh, important to use when trying to play this out or do it in live, however you're choosing to do it. All you do, go to the user interface knob that you want to assign it to. You want to learn MIDI CC and then go to your control device which would be the tr does and the accent here does have a level so we're going to turn that and that will turn the on-screen level for accent as well. So that is mapped. Now you're probably going to want to do all your tone. So the tone for the bass drum would be this tune right here. Turn that and you'll see it change it. Same thing with decay. Decay over here you want to learn and turn your bass drum decay. So now when it plays Harder to hear on a laptop speaker, so I apologize for the audio. Anyway, you have those done and your volume as well. Now, something I found out with the TR8S is that your main volume is not MIDI. It 
does not send a MIDI signal. Strictly an analog volume out. So if you want to learn this and you're not using your external end, this will send a signal and you can map it to that. As you can see it turns there, turns here. So that's one way to go around that if you want to do that. The shuffle does work as well. You learn your shuffle and turn your knob like so. So that should get you all set up. Uh, one other thing, if you want to do your level, since there is no level knob up here, you can learn it and you can move your slider and that will in turn control that. So that's how you can start assigning all your parameters that you want on the TR808 using your TR8S. Now if you want to do the 909 it's very similar. Bear with me here. The 909 of course is a different kit and has two bass drums, two snares and a few of the other instruments that are not mapped to the 808's performance pads. So when you do play the performance pads in a row you get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it skips the first few that have the two. So know that and you'll have to do those another way because I can't right click to map them. Anyway, when you open it up, same thing. You want to go to your setup. Make sure your inputs and outputs are the TR8S. And then you can go ahead and right click. Learn MIDI CC. This is the snare drum level. There's the snare drum level. Same thing with this is if you use internal. You have your basic 909. If I use the TR8S start stop it will use the MIDI data sent through here for the sequence and use the audio in your VST so you get this so you can hear the difference when I change the kits there you go that's how you do it with the 808 and 909 and the more things I find out, the more videos I'll make for everyone. I hope you're enjoying them. If you have any questions or comments in the video, please leave them in the comments below or join us on the Roland TR8S group page on Facebook. Um, a lot of knowledge over there and hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again for watching.